Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Today we are taking a look at what's in the bag of Colin Morikawa, the champion golfer of the year. So let's dive straight in and take a look at his winning what's in the bag from the 2021 Open Championship at Royal St. George's Golf Club. Also guys, let me know what you thought of the Open Championship. I was actually there all four days. If you wanna see more, check out my Instagram, Mike3DLife. There's loads of stuff on there from the Open, including some awesome chipping and pitching videos of Colin Morikawa. So let's dive in and take a look at what's in the bag and what clubs helped him win. And this is quite an unusual bag because there's a lot of different types of clubs and a few different types of manufacturers as well. So even though Colin Morikawa is sponsored by TaylorMade, we do see a few other brands popping up. So first of all, we're going to start out with the driver. Colin Morikawa, uh, he uses the TaylorMade Sim, not the Sim 2, so he uses the older version, the TaylorMade Sim, in eight degrees. He has this in a Mitsubishi Diamana 8, uh, sorry, Diamana D plus limited 60 TX shaft, which you can see pictured here. And you know, very interesting that he's using this driver. It's not the most recent TaylorMade driver, even though that he's a TaylorMade tour player. And yeah, really, really interesting there. Also eight degrees is pretty minimal loft. Quite unusual there, indicating that Colin Marikawa must have quite a high ball flight. Um, otherwise, you know, he'd be using slightly more loft. Bear in mind, Bryson DeChambeau probably has the lowest loft on tour and that's about five degrees. So eight degrees, not that far away from it. Pretty low for a driver. Next, we move into the three wood. Three wood tailor-made sim titanium, 14 degrees shaft Mitsubishi Diamana D plus limited 80 gram TX shaft. So again, 14 degrees, slightly lower loft than a normal three wood. That's what you would call kind of a rocket three wood or a really strong three wood. Tailor-made Sim Titanium, again, it's not the Sim 2. It's the older version, which again, kind of, I think just shows us the importance of having a club you like. It doesn't always have to be the newest club. Newer doesn't always mean better in all in all cases, you know, sometimes it does, sometimes you can get those improvements, but he's obviously find, found a really good three wood and driver combination that works really well for him. And that's really important around a course like Royal St. George's where driving the ball was really, really important. Next, we move into the five wood, and this is the first look we have at a more recent golf club. He has the TaylorMade Sim 2 in 19 degrees. Five wood. So that shaft, again, Mitsubishi Diamana D Plus Limited 80 gram TX shaft, same shafts in the three wood and five wood, and same type of shaft in the driver, just slightly uh, lighter shaft with 60 grams there and 80 grams in the three wood and five wood. So again, really interesting. This is the first look we see of a really new, brand new tailor-made Sim 2 club in Colin's bag. Also, interestingly, you know, three wood and five wood, you would kind of feel in some ways you would want those two to be the same club and have the same look down at the ball, same head shape, same look, same design, so that, you know, you get that kind of continuity, that same feel, that same confidence. But interestingly enough, that is not the case here. He has a different three wood and five wood, different clubs. And that's going to be something we see as a bit of a trend in Colin's bag, actually, as we move through the irons, because there's quite a few different types of irons. So TaylorMade P770 irons. Well, again, a newer club. First look at another newer club, but he only has the one uh, P770 in the four iron, giving him that little extra bit of forgiveness. Now, Colin Morikawa changed his iron setup quite a lot before coming into this week. He said in previous weeks, he wasn't finding the middle of the face that often. He wasn't, you know, striking the ball as well as he would have liked. And so he wanted some more forgiveness in his irons. And we'll see that in this iron setup here. So he starts off with the TaylorMade P770, which is, does definitely have a bit more forgiveness. Then he moves into the P7MC irons, which again have a decent amount of forgiveness, you know, 
used by people like Rick Shields and stuff, you know, so, and they are used by other tour players too, but just not quite so much. Um, but they do have a good bit of forgiveness, but they are also kind of a player's iron. So he has these from five iron to pitching wedge, P7 MCs, and then we see the tailor-made P730 iron just in a pitching wedge. He has that just in a pitching wedge, but previously he had the P730 irons uh, throughout his other irons. I believe he had them from five iron to nine iron as well. Also, he's using these in a shaft, the True Tempered Dynamic Gold Tour Issue X100 shaft. I haven't tried that shaft, but if you have, comment down below, let me know. So really interesting iron setup. His iron setup is made up of three different types of irons. And two of those are only one club, which is kind of a bit interesting because, well, you just don't see it that much, do you? You might see like a different club in the four iron, but typically you wouldn't really see a like P730 iron just in a pitching wedge. You might see a, a, a wedge with a stronger loft that replaces a pitching wedge, but typically you don't see that. So quite unusual iron setup, and he's added some more forgiving irons in there to help him improve his ball striking. Probably a bit of a lesson that we could all learn from this if one of the best players in the world is doing this. Also important to note, he'll probably have the lofts of these slightly changed. Um, I believe his lie angle will be a little bit flat as well, but the lofts of these I would imagine are kind of custom lofts because he'll have to do that to blend in the different sets of irons and to get them the right distances and spin that he wants. And now if we move into the wedges, well the wedges are really, really interesting. And again, we see some different brands here. In the wedges, we see the tailor-made milled grind two wedge in a 50 degrees, which I also use 50 degrees. I love that combination. Uh, then he uses the Titleist Vokey Design SM8 wedge in 56 degrees with 14 degrees of bounce in an F grind. So again, not a sponsored club. That is not a, not a club that he is sponsored by. He is choosing to use a different brand in that wedge. And really interesting that he is using a different brand just in that one wedge because in the next, uh, he goes to the tailor-made milled grind to high toe 60 degrees. So I would love to know why he's just got that one Vokey Design SM8 in there at 56. Really interesting combination there. Again, he has these in the True Tempered Dynamic Gold uh, Tour Issue S400 this time, slightly different shaft. And the, so yeah, really interesting wedge combination. He goes 50, 56, uh, 60, but has, well, three, actually three different types of wedges with a milled grind to uh, Vokey SM8 and a milled grind to high toe wedge. So really, really interesting there. And next we'll move into the putter, which I've seen a lot of people marveling over his putting and a lot of people want this putter at the moment. TaylorMade TP Juno Putter, which is a blade putter, sits really nicely, one of the newer TaylorMade uh, kind of designs and finishes. And yeah, it looks a really, really nice putter. I used to use a similar putter from TaylorMade with the same insert, and they do feel pretty good and roll pretty nicely, quite a soft feel. The ball then, Colin Marikawa using the TaylorMade TP5 2021 golf ball and in the Grips Golf Pride Z Grip Cord, which are kind of just a pretty plain grip. Uh, quite popular on tour actually though, you know, probably more popular now than like the Golf Pride, um, you know, grips. We, we used to see the, uh, I can't even think of the name of them, the multi-compound ones. So guys, that is Colin Marikawa's What's in the Bag. There's some really, really interesting things going on there with, you know, some older drivers, some older woods, some newer woods, some, newer irons, some older irons with the P730s, a complete blend and a mix of clubs. And th there's a few lessons to be learned from that because, you know, for most of us, I would probably think uh, when I'm buying a new set of clubs or if I want a new set of clubs, I'm like, you know, I want all my wedges to match. I want my driver wood combination probably to match up as well. And irons, like maybe I'd have like a, you know, a combo set of irons but probably not going to think about getting like three different irons to make that up because you'd have to change the lots and lies and stuff. 
So really interesting, the lesson to be learned then is that Colin Morikawa has found a club in each of those departments. Doesn't matter what the club is, doesn't matter you know, too much what the brand is, um, in terms of the wedges that is, uh, with that Vokey Design SM8 in there. But he's found a combination of clubs which each do a certain job, each do a certain purpose, and he has confidence in each of those clubs. He feels confident that when he stands over the ball, he knows they are going to go that distance or fly with that certain flight or have that amount of spin on it. And that is a really important lesson to learn that it's more about what the golf clubs do and less about how they look or how new they are or are they the latest model etc so really important lessons to be learned there let me know what you thought of Colin Marikawa's win I, I thought it was pretty incredible I was there at the Open Championship but I didn't actually get to see too much of him there I did get to see him a little bit I put out videos for the Open Championship every single day check them out on my channel uh, day one day two day three day four videos the day Three and day four videos I think are my favorites. There's a lot of really good shots in there from Jordan Spieth, uh, Dustin Johnson, Louis Ustase, and Colin Marikawa as well. So check those videos out on my channel. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, taking a deep look into Colin Marikawa's golf bag. Comment your thoughts down below what you think of his what's in the bag, what you think of his clubs. Do you have any of those clubs? I'd love to know. Uh, stay tuned for the next video, guys, because we're going to be doing a first look at the new tailor-made milled grind three wedges, which we have just had some leaked photos of and will be coming out very, very soon, and they do look pretty cool. So make sure you check out that video. We'll be coming tomorrow on my channel. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Make sure to give this video a like, comment down below, subscribe. I will see you in the next one. As always, guys, grip it and rip it.